Hi, I'm Chef Joy Houston from Sonima, and hopefully you're already using spaghetti squash as a less processed alternative to gluten-free options for pasta. But today, what I wanna show you is a little different use for the roasted spaghetti squash, and that is to make essentially a vegan version of pulled pork. So what you're gonna need first is a spaghetti squash. If you haven't bought them before, they look just like that. Um, you'll need to chop it in half and you wanna chop it from the stem to the bottom, okay? So from the stem to the bottom. So we wanna seed this. So you just wanna set it on a nice flat surface. I'm doing it on a towel here so it doesn't wiggle on me. There we go. And this is gonna have a mealy texture. So if you don't get it all out of there, it's not gonna taste fabulous. You want the texture to be really nice. And this dish, quite honestly, has been mistaken for actual pulled pork tacos many a time. Okay, now, before we roast these, we want to uh, season it up a little bit so that it has a little more meaty flavor. My favorite spice to do that with is cumin. We're gonna brush them with just a little bit of oil. And you can, of course, use a, a basting brush here. I'm using coconut oil because it holds up to the high heat of roasting. And then really rub that on there nice so you make sure that it will come out nice and moist. All right, and now that we've got something to get the spice to stick, we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this roasted cumin powder on here. And if you tend to like spice, go nuts, add more. So now we're gonna put these face down. Now a mistake that a lot of people make is they go ahead and salt it. They think that they're gonna get the salt in there and start punching up the flavor. That'll actually pull all the moisture out of it and you'll end up with a really dry, stringy spaghetti squash. You don't want that. You want it to be nice and moist. So hold the salt till later. There'll be plenty of flavor, I promise. Now we're gonna roast these in the oven and uh, get them nice and tender. Now, if you haven't worked with spaghetti squash before, you will know that it's done when you can poke a fork or even a small knife into the back of it and it easily punctures the skin. Right now, there's no way it would puncture the skin. Once it goes through easily, you're done and it'll be ready to rock. Let's get these in the oven. Okay, so while that is roasting in the oven, what we wanna do is go ahead and get some onions sauteed up. So again, we're using coconut oil because we know that holds up to heat a lot better than something like an olive oil. And as that heats up, we're just gonna get some nice half rings of sweet onion. And that's about good. We wanna get all of these in here and let them start to get translucent. And while those are getting soft and a little more mild from this little saute, we're gonna go ahead and get the slaw marinating. And so we have some shredded purple cabbage here. Love that, so good for your digestive system. And then we have some jicama. Now you'll notice this jicama is sitting here in its little ice bath. And what that does is it takes out the chalky texture. So if you've ever tried jicama and thought, ew, I kinda don't like that, it's sort of nasty texture. Try it after it's been soaked in ice water. You will be pleasantly surprised that it's quite different. All that we're gonna do for these is just marinate them in a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some salt just to bring out their flavor and we'll have a very simple slaw. And you can see that's gonna add some nice pretty color to our pulled pork tacos at the end. Perfect. And looks like our onions are doing well over here. Okay. Once you start to get translucent, we can take the heat down a little bit and let them get nice and soft. They're still a little white for my liking, so we're gonna let those go. And while we do that, we're gonna mince our jalapenos. Now, I've taken some jalapenos and fire roasted them. This does a couple of things. It adds a smoky flavor, but it also makes them a little more mellow in terms of spiciness. So let's go ahead and get these just roughly chopped. Perfect. I'm gonna just take about half of those. Get my onions seasoned up really nice. Okay, and these are starting to get brown, so we're gonna take them off of the heat, transfer them out of the way, and what we're gonna do next is pull that spaghetti squash out of the oven, and we're gonna pull the uh, squash apart so that it has that nice pulled pork texture. So let's get this out. over here. There we go. They should have a little golden color, but not too much. 
then we'll transfer these to the cutting board here. And use out of the way. So now to get this to that nice pulled pork consistency, what we want to do is just gently pull it away from the skin. So you can see the, pork, the fork will just go right between the skin and the squash. And look at that. They are all set. Okay, so we'll keep pulling these squash away, but I want to start getting some flavor into the sauce. So we have the onions and the jalapeno going. And now we're gonna go ahead and add our stewed tomatoes. Okay, now we have our sauce reducing down here. We're gonna go ahead and add that yummy barbecue flavor. Again, from the batch of the gluten-free uh, barbecue sauce that you can get uh, the recipe and see a video for how to make over at sonima.com. We're gonna mix this in here. Okay, and once we've got that nice and blended, we're gonna go ahead and fold in the spaghetti squash. Now, if we were to mash this or stir it around sort of crazily, uh, we'll lose the texture. So what we wanna do is make sure, just how we were gentle when we pulled it away with the fork, we wanna make sure that we use that same tenderness. There we go. So we'll only scrape the skin once all the last of it is in. Now, we want to gently fold this in. I even use my fork here. There we go. We want this to end up looking like a stewed pork that sat in the crock pot for a day, right? The crock pot is the secret to getting a nice, juicy, yummy pulled pork. There we go. Okay, now we're just gonna let the last of the um, moisture come off of there so that the tortillas don't get soggy when we transfer these to the blue corn tortillas. And then we'll take that off of the heat and we will get our tortillas ready to serve the tacos. So what we wanna do is we wanna take some either organic corn tortillas, and if you can't find those, look for blue corn tortillas. The reason that we wanna do that is because corn is a highly genetically modified crop, and we don't wanna eat things that have been genetically engineered to explode the stomach of the bug that eats it, right? We wanna steer clear of that. So go for organic, because we know that's not gonna be genetically modified. If you can't find it, blue corn is not currently genetically modified. So we will take our nice tortillas, and we'll just put them right here on the flame. What this does is just soften, heat up the oils in the, a little bit of oil that's in the tortilla, and it'll make it really pliable so it doesn't break apart on you when you're having your yummy tacos. So let's go ahead and plate twin tacos is my favorite way to plate these. So we're gonna get our corn tortillas standing up just like that. We're gonna put the mock pulled pork. This is the spaghetti squash version right here. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna take this beautiful slaw, and you'll notice that the jicama's taken on just a little bit of that pink color from the, the purple cabbage. That's a good thing. I'm gonna put that right on there. There we go. And then, last but not least, we wanna to top this with some nice uh, cilantro leaves. We'll do a little lime wedge here, because that's the way that I really like them. And then, we have some quick and easy and fun uh, plant-based alternatives to the normal pur pulled pork tacos. It's a great use for spaghetti squash, which is highly nutritious. Again, a gluten-free option you should have in your household anyway. They store well, they last for a long time, and you can find many recipes for how to use them over at sonima.com. Enjoy!